like damn who give me some food for thought changing the pasta you had in your heart hey What's going on? What's Good going on? It's your morning. boy, Tyrell Clemens. I'm here with my beautiful wife, Miss Wendy. And it's time to give you your breakfast for your soul, your, your food for thought. thought. So look, y'all, this is Monday. The holiday season is in full effect. You know, what, Christmas Eve? Tomorrow, right? Mm -hmm. It's Christmas Eve tomorrow. So we still want to give y'all a, a present right now, some, some good old breakfast. So Wendy, what do you got for them this morning? Well, today's clothes from uh, Mr. Jay Shetty. Ooh, say the thing. Yeah, say it slow. Jay, Jay what? Jay Shetty. Shetty. <laughs> okay, what you got for sure? What, uh -huh. what you want exists. Don't settle until you get it. Ooh, say that thing again. What? What? What you want exists. Don't settle until you get it. That's that's deep. And, and I want to say this because so many people uh, give up. I mean, it's straight. It's a straight thing. So many people that give up not because that they don't think they have talent, not because they don't think they have ability, but a lot of them give up because they think what they really want, they can't get it. Mm -hmm. They think because of where they from, they grew up in Stokes, they grew up in Tryon, Polk County, because of where they from, that they, they have a single parent household, because they had a felony, because they're black, because of, of whatever issues, they can't get the thing that they really want. Uh, they, they haven't seen anybody who started their own law firm. They haven't seen anybody who started their own business. They haven't seen these things. So what they want, they don't know if they can actually achieve it. But I'm here today to let you know what you want. The thing that's in your heart, the thing that burning desire, that thing that you want, it does exist. And you do not need to settle until you get it. And when I think about this, I think about those females that say they have a they have this thing, certain things that they look for qualities in a guy. Mm -hmm. So y'all crazy. Don't look for all that stuff. Go ahead. I'm just no, playing. I'm saying, but, but then they get to that point where after a while they haven't found somebody, and sometimes they just say whatever. I just I, I'm just gonna settle. I just need a man. You know, so, whatever. They, they start off when, when the girls first start off the list, be like this long, and then after about two more years, I oh he he don't gotta have all that. He don't need no. They start marking it up. He don't need he don't need need to have no good credit. All he need is a job. I mean he, he you know he, what you know if he just watch the kids. He don't need no job. He can watch the baby. But you know I mean he don't even got to watch the baby. Just be at the house with him, and, and they just take anything. And the thing is, the biggest thing we want to make sure you do is if you have a dream, if you have a goal, don't just settle for. Anything. Look, you can't just settle for it. it. Exists the thing that you want to achieve, the greatness that you want to achieve. It does exist. You can't just settle for anything. Look, you are built to get greatness. You are built to achieve greatness. You are built to be a great. You are meant to have a happy life. You are meant to have a good career. You are meant to have these things. So don't settle until you get it. Some of y'all are dealing with knuckleheads and just just to say you got a man. Look, Why this, are you doing he it? don't care nothing about you and he don't show you that he care about you. Some of y'all go to a job that y'all can't stand because you don't feel like you deserve or can get better. You got a degree for a purpose. You have abilities for a purpose. Don't keep staying at a dead end job that you know is not for you. Hold on, let me say this real quick. God knows Tyrell is not telling you to break up with your boyfriend because he's sorry. <laughs> He might he might be sorry. You might need to break up with him. But I, don't don't say I, I watched this video and I broke up with my boyfriend because of that. No wait, I, I'm not I'm not telling you to quit your job because the bills are still gonna come. But what I'm telling you is you don't need to settle for less. If your man is not willing to change and, and you know he needs to change, he's not willing to make it better. Then you might need to think about the next step. If that job doesn't have any room for advancement and you need to have some advancement in your life, then you might need to think about the next step. Don't make that abrupt. I'm just gone now. But at the same time, don't settle. Mm -mm. Don't, don't say that don't, this is it. Don't let it be the point where you just stay where you are when nothing else can change. I, I hate to talk about them folk, but some folk go, Lord, I, 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 I'm going to say it I ain't scared. Some folks go to some old churches, son. And, well, I'm, I'm staying in this church because my great grandfather was the first deacon of this church. And so I'm staying here because this is my church, my, my family family's church. church. That pastor don't know nothing. He ain't put a brick on this church. But hold on. You can't say it and stay in a situation that's dead and you're staying in a dead situation because you don't you're settling because of settling tradition you're settling because of tradition you're settling because of comfort you're settling because you're scared to take a chance a lot of folks have not achieved or stepped out on the the, the start their own business or to write their own book or to do these other things because they're settling because they are scared or they're comfortable 
Sometimes in order to achieve the greatness that you need to achieve, you have to be willing to step outside your comfort zone because you haven't achieved the thing that you can achieve. It exists, but you can't get it if you're not willing to go outside of your comfort zone. Some of y'all will never achieve the things that you want to achieve because you get too comfortable. So sometimes God got to situate, make the situation a little uncomfortable for you to get to get that thing. Mm -hmm. But what I'm telling you is you can't settle. The things that you want to achieve, it, it exists. The job, it exists. The career, it exists. The relationship, it exists. The body, it exists. Don't settle. Some of y'all look, I lost enough weight now and he losing them. I'm good. But they ain't what, what, your what your goal was. You just, well, I can fit this suit now. I'm good. That wasn't what your goal was. Your goal was to lose 40 pounds. Don't stop at 25. I lost 25. This is good enough. No, it's not. You wanted to lose 40, lose 40. You wanted to be a millionaire. You ain't a millionaire yet. Keep going until you get there. Stop settling until you achieve your goal. Good enough is not what we're going for. We're going to get the goal. So many people say, well, that's good enough. No, it's not. It's not good enough. You are meant to have exceedingly and abundantly above all that you can ask. You can't just stop for good or good enough. We want you to get abundance. So what I'm telling you on this Monday morning, what Wendy's telling you on this Monday morning is you're not going to stop until you achieve every single thing that you set out to achieve. It exists, but you can't settle. Yeah, you want to start a business and hire people. You're not going to stop right now. I know it might be hard. It might be scary, but you're not going to stop right now. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't settle. Because when you settle, you're killing your dream. And also, when you settle, you may hurt somebody else's process that was dependent upon you to get to where you need to be. Say that thing again. Because you got what well, you, you just reach a lot. Some people right now are dependent on you achieving your dream. Yeah, the business that you're going to start, there's somebody that's supposed to be working for you, It's a, but they can't work for you because you settled working at that nine to five that you should have quit five years ago. Mm. You have to realize that your destiny is tied into other people. And so you, people uh, yeah, it's, it's, we all work together. It's not good for man to be alone. We all work together. So what I'm telling you is you cannot settle. You better not settle. Settling is not good. Now, if you got a personal injury case, you can settle for you with your lawyer. But that we ain't talking about. We're talking about your life, your career, your dreams, your passions. You can't settle for good enough. You need to go get everything that God wants for you. Mm -hmm. But you, 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 can't, you can't get it all unless you're willing to work hard, keep grinding, and step outside your comfort zone. I'm about to start preaching. Let me go ahead and get a so pot So what here. we need to tell you mm -hmm. every day when every you get single up, day. I need you to wake up, look in the mirror. And say, what? Let's go Let's to work. Let's go to work. Look, that is your first oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Tell them. Go ahead. I'm you sorry. You need to make sure as you're mm -hmm. watching this video, after you finish, go click the little thumbs up. That little thumbs up thing. Yeah, the like. Like, like it. To subscribe. We need you to subscribe to our channel if you like what we're doing. We want to keep doing what we're doing. We want the word to get around. We want to spread it because ultimately, we want to make everybody greater. And so we need you to share us and like us subscribe us and i think that's pretty much it now all she just said but look that is the rest for your soul your food for thought it's the clemens it's the clemens